Today we are with the homeowner series on the Wind Chaser map in FS19. It will be a very busy day around the property. We will be taking the 2017 F350 for service. We will be buying a Lamborghini Huracan along with building a dirt track and doing a few things around the property. It's going to be a pretty exciting day overall. So the first thing will be servicing the 2017 F350. It needs an oil change but while we are over at the garage we'll do a few maintenance works, get a few new filters for it. And also, we will be wrapping the front and back bumpers. We'll be wrapping it the same color as the truck. And if uh, later on down the road we don't want it, we could peel the wrap off and uh, we could go on with our day. So that's going to be a good thing. Let's hop here in the F-350 and head out. Now I do have the wear and tear activated and you guys can see we'll be repairing that as well today. And this truck should look quite a lot better. I'm excited to be back here with the Homeowner Series. It's a very popular series, and we've been doing quite a lot of cool things lately. And last week, we rented a Lamborghini Huracan, and by votes, we will be buying one today. I really did enjoy driving it. Having the top on and off was great, and having those few extra options was nice. Now, we are getting a little bit of a different color than the uh, one we rented, but I think it's overall going to be a great add-on to our uh, garage. And we also do have one other sports car going to be added soon that's a bit more affordable. Now if you have any cool ideas at what that is, let me know down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and join uh, this awesome community we have. So we are over here at the garage. We'll come over here, we'll first repair it and then uh, we will do the wrap. So let's kind of see, so we'll repair it. And $3 to repair, uh, that's pretty nice. We'll customize it here, a few different things. So we'll come over here, so we want color matched and color coded. And let's kind of see. Now we do have to make sure it's the correct one, so that's new silver, we have to come over here to new silver, let's see where it is, and it looks like it might not be the same one, but we should be able to get a close one. That looks pretty similar, we'll check one other color. Yeah, I think old silver will do. And there we have it. We have the bumpers color match. That looks very nice. Full maintenance. Everything is done here on the truck. Let's hop back in it and let's go get the enclosed trailer. We are now going to pick up the Lamborghini. When we do get back over here to the house, I do want to uh, take it for a drive and put it in the garage. Now in the garage, we'll have this F350 AS4 and a ZR1 Corvette. I think color matching the bumpers was a great idea. Now sometimes when you do buy wrap, they aren't always the uh, same exact color. Uh, it's hard to get the factory colors, but that's close enough uh, for me at least. And it's pretty hard to even tell that little bit of a difference. Alright, and I think today we'll use the enclosed trailer just because it's an expensive uh, car. Lamborghini is pretty pricey, and I do want to adjust the hitch really quick. So let's raise up the hitch, and we'll get it attached. And we'll do the chain so everything looks to be good there. And let's uh, head out. Really quickly, we will also do the light check. I really do enjoy doing this series, and I do plan to be back in the 17 series soon as well. I've been so busy, so many great videos I've been wanting to record lately, and it's hard just to fit them all in into a week's schedule. So there will be some FS17 videos coming as well, which should be pretty exciting. I do plan to do more lawn care and landscaping videos coming up, but so many cool things. The Seasons mod recently has come out, and we'll be getting that for this series as well. We'll be able to plow out our driveway and our neighbors if uh, we want to as well. Now this trailer here is pretty nice. It is a bit heavy, so possibly in the future, maybe one of the upgrades, if you guys would like, we could switch to an aluminum uh, trailer. I think that might be a great plan. Now I got this uh, Lamborghini, it's a 2019 Huracan Spider in 
uh, a very nice kind of white off white is a better term for it but you guys can see look at it now they did get the top down if we do want the top on we will have to kind of come back here to the store that's how it is it would be pretty cool for it to be animated but look at this guys we got ourselves a Lamborghini which is pretty awesome uh, completely specced out carbon fiber wing just take a look at the carbon fiber I can't wait for this to be parked in the garage and really I just get to look at it and uh, wash and different things like that so on the inside you guys can see full tech uh, this is just so cool owning a Lamborghini for the first time let's get it loaded up here we'll be a bit tight in the trailer but one of the biggest reasons to using the enclosed trailer is preventing rock ships anything from the road uh, kind of coming up and damaging the paint and we do want to treat this pretty good as well so I think probably in the next video we'll drop this off at a detail shop and they'll completely wrap it in clear film I think that that will probably come in the next video so stay tuned for that and then we'll do the first wash after I do try to be pretty realistic and I think that's something uh, that we could do as well to add to the realism let me know if you guys do like the uh, color match bumpers. I thought it's a great thing. I, I do enjoy uh, both of them, but I thought we'll give it a try since it's not permanent either. Recently we added the go-kart track and you guys have been requesting me to get a dirt track. So today we will be building one of those. It's going to be quite a lot bigger than the uh, go-kart track and I think it's going to be pretty nice. We'll have some nice hills and some nice straightaways but twists and turns as well is always fun with the dirt bikes. We'll get it unloaded here and we'll take it for a quick spin and then we'll get it parked up. I think the best thing will be to completely park the truck and trailer up, get it out of the way, and uh, this F350 looks so, so nice. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a 250, but very similar. I believe the only difference is uh, a few things to the rear suspension. Awesome. So we'll leave the Lamborghini right here. We'll get it warmed up, and then uh, we'll get the truck and trailer parked up. We'll get the garage door opened. And we'll actually get this one open as well. Now, for this one, I did move the uh, ZR1 a little bit, and so we should be able to fit the uh, Huracan no problem. Now, you guys have actually been requesting me to get a Huracan for, I would say, over three, four months. Ever since we lived in the old house, I got comments asking to get one. So it's a big, big day here for us that uh, we are actually getting in. Sometimes, uh, I really try to hold off on uh, some things, especially Lamborghini. They're just way too expensive. But you guys requested, and I said, why not? So I want to park the uh, 250 a little bit closer over there, and that looks pretty good. Let's take the uh, Huracan out for its first spin. Now, we do want to be pretty nice on it. Try not to get behind anybody, but it's so, so low to the ground clearance-wise. Now, it does actually have an axle lift, which comes in pretty handy. <laughs> this is pretty uh, cool here. You guys can see we're just around 5,000 RPM we are cruising at, shifting right through the gears. What a very, very nice car. Can't wait uh, to uh, get it all prepped and ready to go with the uh, clear film on the entire car. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that would happen in the next video. But let's put it in the garage and move on to the next thing. With the homeowner series, we do so many different things around the property. It's nice to get uh, some cool uh, sport cars, expensive cars, some trucks, and different things like that. And I thought this would be one great thing. But we'll hop in the Gator and let's go build that track. And that looks good. We can still get in the F-350. It's a jam-packed garage now. And we have one more car, which uh, we will be fitting in here or uh, we'll have to put back in this garage. But let's hop in the Gator. And when I did order a shed. It's a 12 by 8 uh, shed that will be coming. We'll put the uh, 1025R and probably the Gator in it. And then we'll have some room in here. Let's head back there and then we'll uh, hop in the landscape tool. We'll keep the uh, garage closed here, trying to keep any animals out. And let's uh, give the dog some food here. Where is he? Now, I definitely want to name him. I said a few times, what should we name him? But, uh, yeah, there we go. He's eating his food now, which is great. 
let's head back there and start building the track. Now this track will be pretty big and I actually have a few uh, cool ideas here for it. So we'll kind of uh, stay around here at the playground and let's kind of see what we'll do. Let's hop here into the landscape feature. Alright, we are now over here. We have all of this land for the dirt track. So what I am thinking about doing is to having it go probably starting here, one big loop, just keep winding and maybe uh, we'll just kind of see how we go. So let's switch over here to dirt and I want dirt instead of like mud. And we'll definitely make some areas mud as well. We'll have a nice sharp in and let's kind of see. Going very close there. It is a bit tricky. Oh yeah, this will be a very nice, uh, pretty challenging uh, track compared to our previous ones. You guys can see some of these turns are pretty sharp. Up next, we'll come over here and we'll make the uh, turns on them. Without these, it's a little bit tricky to go on like a flat dirt track and then we'll have to smooth them out. And we get to ride on it as well. So many awesome things we get to do here in these videos. And if you haven't already, smash uh, the subscribe button to continue uh, to get awesome farming simulator content. I put a lot of time and effort here into the channel. And it's a big passion of mine to record every single day for you guys and upload it here to YouTube. Seems like I can't really uh, do that area there. Hopefully... Uh, we could do that, but I think we'll save riding on it for the next video. We'll take the uh, gator on it. That way uh, we could do that. And we might go buy another dirt bike and kind of surprise you guys next week. So stay tuned for next week for that since I do want to do some other things as well today. We got that turn done. This one's a pretty big turn. We'll kind of start there and that's fine if it comes up a bit. Have it a little bit there, perfect. A little bit more there. Some of these areas just do not want uh, to be kind of changed. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at Square Twenty Four Four. I do post daily pictures, sneak peeks, and so many cool things over there. The best thing about this landscape tool is you could really see what you're trying to smooth out. Now, we definitely want this as smooth as can be. And let's kind of see any other areas. I think that's going to be a nice, I like the uh, nice straight stretch. This very tricky area here, that's going to be quite a lot of fun. We'll actually add some here. Oh yeah, this will be pretty exciting. So there we go. And let's hop here on the gator, go for a quick tour. I will have to do a little bit of work off camera, smoothing it out, and then we'll save it. So at the start of the next video here with the series, we'll have some fun with a dirt bike. There are definitely some areas I want to smooth out, like over here. And uh, we'll just kind of get to know the course as well with the gator. I really do like this nice steep banking coming down sharp. That's very nice. Now I do probably want to add some hay bales around here. I think that will be a pretty nice look as well. A little bit more smoothing out to do. And I do want to add some water to some areas to make it muddy and to add, add to the fun. Alright, so I think that's good there. I think now let's kind of see what we need to do. So it looks like all of the water is good. We'll actually hop there in uh, the gator and... Uh, Hop in the John Deere and head back over here. We do need to get the gator parked up. And so far the chickens are doing pretty well. We'll check on them as well. Stay tuned for a pretty cool video using uh, the toy hauler. I haven't really been out there uh, to the campgrounds. Just been so busy around the property. Now I think when we do get some snow that will be pretty awesome. I do want to... Uh, definitely kind of see what happens but when it, d it does start to snow our uh, sport cars really won't be uh, seeing uh, the roads until the springtime they're just too expensive to drive in the salt especially uh, the town trucks putting down a ton a ton of salt but salt is definitely needed so hope you guys are excited for uh, the winter season to come as well for this 
Now we do have the mower jack in a bagger here on the back, but the grass isn't exactly how tall I want it to be. It's midsummer. We do have irrigation, so uh, that's helping out. But I do want to get some wood chips here, so so many different things we need to do. Alright, let's see if we can do the uh, chickens and then we'll go inside the chicken coop and see if uh, we need to uh, take any eggs out of there. And looks like there's just a little bit too much in there, which is okay. We'll just keep this idling on top. And you hear the door does open, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure where the boxes do uh, spawn, but it's nice to be able to open that door and just be in here. Now, both of these are mods. Uh, they're a little bit uh, smaller than the uh, in-game ones, which is great, especially for the horses. I didn't want a big, big horse area. Alright, let's uh, give them some oats, and then we'll call it a day. And actually, let's kind of open the gate and we'll ride one of the horses. We'll turn off the 1025R, get this gate opened up, and let's ride uh, this horse here. Now it is always good to exercise the horses, it looks like you just walk right over them coming a little bit close to the shore, let's kind of go around them really quickly and we do have all this land back here which will be great. Let's bring the horse back here in the area. I really do like this one quite a lot. It's one of these smaller uh, horse areas, which is great. And uh, overall, it was a great time here today. Very busy doing some service, some mods to the F-350, getting the Huracan, and doing so many other things. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.